I know that I'm a day early on wearing denim, but I want you all to be thinking today about what you're going to be wearing for denim day tomorrow. And just in case you don't have the history on denim day, I'd like to set to give you some information about it. Denim day started actually in Italy because an 18 year old was assaulted by her driving instructor. She did everything right. He was convicted and eventually his sentencing was thrown out because she was wearing tight jeans. So therefore the Supreme Court in Italy decided that it was consensual sex. The Italian women protested with signs, high heels, and tight jeans on the steps of the Supreme Court and eventually got that sentence reinstated. But it took years. And this just calls attention in a very big way to the myths about sexual assault. What were you wearing? What were you drinking? How did you ask for it? The kinds of things that all of us survivors have heard so many times. So it's turned into a worldwide movement. And we ask that people on Denim Day wear denim and would love it if you would like to make a $5 contribution to the sexual assault group of your choice. Of course, for me, that's Finding Our Voices, which has been around for more than a decade. And you can find us at findingourvoicescs.org. You can check out our website. You can see a donation button there. But even if you don't donate, wear denim and be consciously aware of the myths that haunt and survivors and, and really uh, it's a second assault on our humanity, on our worthiness to be asked the questions that are really victim blaming. And I'd like to say just a little bit about denim, because uh, those of you who've read my memoir, Beyond Aftershocks, know that I was a fabric merchant for more than 20 years. And so I studied a lot about fabrics. I was also a home ec teacher before that. So fabric is in my repertoire. And denim fabric is particularly strong and sturdy because of the twill weave. Uh, if you did the little placemats when you were young, uh, where you would weave one up, one over, or maybe in basket weaving, you did the one up, one over. Well, in a twill, it's stronger because instead of one up, the side um, threads going one over, one under, it goes under several. So the twill weave is particularly strong and dirty, sturdy, not dirty. Um, and the idea of denim was first introduced again in Italy called Serge de Denim. And then Levi Strauss popularized denim in the United States in the 1800s. Um, those of you who are my age remember the song Dungaree Doll. And uh, there were times when denim was, denim garments were called dungarees. So there's a whole vocabulary around the subject. <clears throat> but I think it's particularly noteworthy that denim is the symbol for sexual abuse survivors because we are sturdy, we are resilient. Because of our life experiences, we've built up our muscle. And like denim fabric that's sturdy, we are sturdy individuals. And we show that <clears throat> by reclaiming our lives. That's why the subtitle in my book is Reclaiming Self, because I think that's what the recovery journey really is. It is saying, uh, I will be successful. I will be joyful. I will live in peace. And what happened to me does not define me. It's part of my experience. It's part of who I am, but it does not define me. And I can overcome it. Uh, I remember that all my life I've heard that success is the best revenge. And, and I don't seek success and joy and happiness out of revenge. I would ra rather say that success and joy and happiness is 
an affirmation of who I really am and of who you really are. It is reclaiming the worthiness that we have as, as a member of humanity. So again, I urge you tomorrow, the 29th of April, wear denim, send loving thoughts to all the survivors, whether they are silent or speaking out, whether they are still in captivity of the abuse or whether they have escaped. Send your loving thoughts for healing, recovery, for health and happiness and peace for survivors of any form of sexual violation. Thank you for your time. I hope to see you again real soon. And I hope that you will post a picture of yourself. Take a selfie or do a video, but let us know what you are doing on Denim Day tomorrow. Thank you for your time.